pulling back to using my Sony a7 uh, someone stole my little vlog camera my little pocket camera out of the car I am here with demolition ranch there's some watermelons some cantaloupes and coconuts it's gonna be a fruity day not like in San Francisco just it's gonna be like never mind oh I'm flying to Dallas tonight too uh, Jet Tila is having a little gala that's gonna support law enforcement special operations forces and Brandon and I are gonna hop down for a day and hang out there yeah, what the hell is this you don't have one of those? <laughs> you don't have a, yeah. a freaking block yeah. of uh, it's high a, points? It's a high point tesseract. Oh. There's an infinity stone in there. Uh, we were trying to get it, but too powerful. Is that the worst magazine ever to load? You know, believe it or not, it's not terrible. It's just a lot. You said that's no PVO on there? Yes. So if you were to like... Sh According <laughs> to uh, the um, specific scientific trials I've seen recently, yes, it would work. Take apart a squirrel there? Uh, I think so, a little bit. Not too much. Relax. Mm. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so submissive looking? <laughs> I have some questions for whoever designed this mold. Because they molded it with its ears back. <laughs> it's not very family friendly. It's afraid. <laughs> so these are all still legally yeah, firearms with them. serial numbers and you everything guys like hang that. Out? Oh. So, uh... Yeah, no. If the ATF comes and does an audit where they have to check, make sure, you know, verify all the serial numbers of the guns and stuff like that, uh, you just cement them in a fucking block of resin. Like, hey, good luck, have fun. Here they are. I did my job. I logged them in and they're still on premises. <laughs> but there's no reason for an ATF to come to an audit here. Go to Brandon's shop. <laughs> don't do that, man. Don't, don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> What is he doing? This place is a fucking TikTok <laughs> video, dude. Yeah, working on my the farmer's tan a little bit. I know you're gonna like Neapolitan ice cream. That's racial. <laughs> pool and stuff up here. It's pretty neat. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit too much. <laughs> we're gonna have a couple drinks and then we're gonna walk to where Kennedy died. Plural be Pegasi. 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 You gotta get that good Pegasi. All right, I got an idea. You know the, the YouTubers that like video themselves giving homeless people money? What if we do the opposite and we just go take homeless people shit? <laughs> well, they got the Bank of America blocked off for the entire block. Uh, we're hoping we don't get into a little, you know, heat situation here. Because there's mm, seven police cars. Oh man, it's not a bank robbery, it's just a traffic collision. Ugh. I thought we were gonna see a shootout. That was awesome. One of the cops drove by and like slammed on his brakes. He's like, Brandon, I love you. Not sure why you recognized me first, but I love you too. <laughs> hey, look right there. We got a book suppository building. Suppository? Yeah, that's what they said in Full Metal Jacket. It made it funny. Ah. And that's where Lee Harvey Oswald was raised. That's the history here, right? Something like that. Yeah, I'm sure that's somewhat close. <laughs> mm. Kids are gonna watch your fucking video and think that it's actually called suppository. That uh, little piece of paper is right there. I think it's where the shot happened. And then it went, where, Brandon? Somewhere right about here. Somewhere, is it where all that marking is right there in the street, maybe? Probably somewhere close to that. Huh. Uh, allegedly, if you allegedly. believe the story, which we don't. Where's the grassy knoll at? Right up. Okay, you want to go to the grassy knoll? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I was wrong. I thought that the road construction thing up there was the X. There's an actual X right there. I was wrong. The grassy knoll is actually right up there. Grassy I knoll's it was up here. The street, it is not. It's right up here. Oh, okay. Grassy or grassy knoll, X, and then that window on the far right, right there with that piece of paper. Okay, hey, grassy knoll. Here we go. Shit, that's only like a hundred feet. Yeah. Huh. It's like a forty-yard shot. That is not difficult. Yeah, no, it's we do that. Significantly with... easier to make than that shot up there. We make that with pistols all the time. Th this shot right here. Really weird, I will say, that Kennedy's head kind of blew out the backside, implying that the exit wound was from, you know, the exit wound was behind him instead of from the front, which would be really weird if the shot came from up there. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy the back of his head came out yeah. and not the front when he was facing that way. That's weird. You know what he did? He fucked with the squirrels, dude. Fucked with the squirrels. <laughs> he fucked with the squirrels, Morty. This trip has been a uh, mind-blowing experience. 
Sir, sir, what do you know about the grassy knoll? He's a fed. He's a fed. We're at the book depository building. And someone scratched out allegedly shot and killed President John F. Kennedy. Whew. And they straight up have a bar here named Lee Harvey's. <laughs> Whew. Dude, this place is rad. This is like where I grew up. It smelled like cigarette smoke. And my uncle and grandpa and everyone would always smell like cigarette smoke. Look, they still have the same advertisements. Look at that man right there. That is so rad. They still have all the old stuff. Wood panel walls. I love this place. It just needs more cigarette smoke. All right, these old advertisements are cool, but did you know that when you're taking a piss, you can learn that 20% of all children has some kind of learning disability? What? That's crazy. I thought this place was just super hipstery, but you look up there, and there's Police Lives Matter, and there's patches everywhere. Yeah, Lee Harvey's is kind of based. So a pretty cool story that we just learned from the bartender. We asked like, hey, how did Lee Lee Harvey's come about and he's like the name where'd it come from it's like no we know where the Lee Harvey name came from and he said well this used to be like like Crackville right here it was super super middle of the ghetto just like bad bad area and his friend came down here 20 years ago and bought up all four corners of the street and there used to be like a little a little bar shack right here and that's what we we're just looking at that's why it's so old he wanted to preserve how old it is and he made this Lee Harvey's because everyone comes to Dallas, like tourists come to visit, you know, Kennedy assassination site. And he's like, let's just name it Lee Harvey's because people are going to associate that with it. And it's worked. And it's kind of funny. You can tell he bought these four corners because it's like modern apartments, modern apartments, modern apartments. And then you have the bar right here, Lee Harvey's. Morning wood. Well. Morning Wood. Oh, dude, Morning Wood. God, I love gentrification. <laughs> well, I get, I get you there? <laughs> Damn, the house is going straight up. It's like old shotgun style houses. Gentrification. Oh, yeah, Taylor Swift and volleyball. I was riding shotgun. <laughs> no, 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 no,